Henke Zuckerman chose American violist David Carpenter to be his protege. David, a student at Princeton University, began his apprenticeship with a legendary violinist, violist, and conductor at the National Arts Center in Ottawa. There are some people that have a complete affinity for the instrument. And it's like Pele in a football. Uh, it's like Federer in a, in, a, in a tennis racket. Fiddle is synonymous with my existence. I knew there was no question I was going to be synonymous with that fiddle sound and make people listen. I tried to instill that kind of commitment. My brother and sister are both violinists and they're older than me. So by the age of 12, when we were going into these, these chamber groups, we needed a violist. And my brother and sister, since I was the runt of a the family, they made me play the viola. I, I actually love the violin as well, but there, there's just something that draws you in to the viola. Girl. For me, I can tell you that one of the greatest things about being a teacher is to see those younger folks be happy when they play. And I can tell you they're happy because they made a good sound, <laughs> you know? It's not because they earn $1,000 or whatever that evening. It sounds good, you feel good. No, the ball. It's, it's really an honor to be working with a, with a mentor such as Finger Zuckerman. He really cares about the, the students that he's worked with. And just to see that, you know, the, the love that he has of, of teaching others, you know, this, this musical language that he's learned and he's had the experience of having. I actually just saw him play with uh, the New York Phil and uh, with Zubin Mehta recently and the, the Beethoven Violin Concerto. And I, I could honestly say, you know, if, if I ever become like a tenth as, as good as what, what I heard there, then I would be complete as a musician. How are you supposed to play? <laughs> In the right key, because that's the wrong key. <laughs> the maestro. Yeah. The proficiency of one's playing can only happen and as it happens, there will be, hopefully, within one's life as a performer, as a person that plays an instrument, many peaks. Okay, okay, stop now. Because I'm a troublemaker anyway, but I always like to say, well, what's that all about? You know, even if it's great, I go, it's great, but, you know, uh, wait a second, Let, let's try that with a third finger. And they go, but he just said it was great, why, why do I have to do another finger? You know, well, why not? You know, then you'll know it's not so good if you do another finger. If you don't experiment, you don't get information, how are you gonna learn? There are degrees of talent, but when you have a David Carpenter, that, that's unique. Uh, and the question is, how far can he go? Way up there. And I hope I'll be able to meet him, that's all.